I'm on the outside looking in, so let me tell you what I see. <clears throat> yeah. I'm on my break right now. I only have a uh, 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 shaky, shaky, shaky eight minutes. Shaky eight. You feel me? Shaky, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I got me some Chinese food. I wanted, I wanted to just get something real quick. You feel me? The weather's kind of like eh, it's iffy. It's, it's an iffy weather out here, man. Feel me? It's iffy, as you can see, it's cloudy and moody. Today is um, what's today? Today is April 11th, 2022. Feel me? The day just started for me. Although I'm on my lunch, the day just started. Prize, bro. It's gonna be a long day. I'm still gonna be at work and all that, so you know it is what it is. You feel me? I'm grateful. You feel me? Yes, yes, y'all. To the beach, y'all. Edit on stuff. What do you call it? It takes so long to build something good and just seconds to just destroy it. You feel me? We know that. From building good relationships to, build, to building civilized society. You feel me? This is the reason why when you in the... I'm saying this just to say that when you, in, when you are around the grace of God himself, right? God's grace is... The, is the building up to his grace. Hold on. Let me see something. I'm going to go in and just be on the other side. The building up to his grace to the civilized society and to a good relationships or to trust, loyalty, and everything else like that. Because you know you can take years to build trust and loyalty. But only one mistake to destroy it. And why do we want to build these things? Like why do I, Before I even get to the God grace and everything else. Why would somebody want to build trust? Why would somebody want to build loyalty? You feel me? Why would somebody want to build a civilization, a civilized society? The modern world that we live in is supposed to be civilized. Why did we go through all those wars? All those middle age? You feel me? Just to get to this point, why? It's to make our life easier. It's supposed to make your life easier. It's supposed to give you a meaning to life. And it's supposed to be innovative so it can move us to the next phase and things. This is the reason why we, we, we do these things so we can get to that position. Even in a civilized society, we're still trying to convince everybody that what you do to others matter because you it's a reciprocal relationship. You feel me? It's not about you having authoritarian over somebody else and somebody's being less than. It's about seeing each other equally and treating each other as such. I know for a fact, somebody punched me in my face, it does not feel good. So I wouldn't want to do that to somebody else. That's what a civilized society is about. It's not, I punch you in your face and you can't do it back to me type shit like that. That's uncivilized. That's like animalistic behavior, you know what I mean? But we ain't gonna mention no names. Anyway, um, I got like two more minutes. So we know that working on these things takes time we know that even even in human history we, we're trying to be civilized we live in a civilized society but not everybody buys into that idea because some people love to create chaos some people love to start trouble you feel me but they act like they're civilized so we know we know that these things take time we know we also know in a relationship it takes a while for people to build loyalty and trust because we need loyalty and trust to move anything forward nothing can if i don't have no trust in you why am i even with you because it's like damn i always gotta check your phone i gotta put gps track on you like that no i in the, if you have loyalty and trust and respect you you have a peace of mind you feel me? You know this person is responsible enough not to bring anything home, not to bring any troubles in your life. You feel me? You can cheat with the wrong person. That person can go berserk. And now you, your wife just cheated one time. Now he, she cheated with a psycho. Now the chance of you getting shot is high. You feel me? It's crazy. Or she can bring an STD home. Or she can bring another baby home. Trust is very important because it gives you a peace of mind. This is the... I'm bringing all these things together because this is what it this is what it takes when you're in the grace of God Himself. 
you get all these attributes and all these relationship and all these goodies when you in the grace of God himself. But it's a domain. It's a place where you stay, where you get all these benefits from God. But yet it's hard. You have to work hard to keep it going. People think that just because they go to church and just because they do good things and everything else doesn't it means that, oh, I don't have to do nothing else. No, it doesn't work like that. Because it's a civilized society, because it takes so much for us humans to even get to this point, something like a heaven, but we're still working on it to make it a better heaven. It's so fragile that it can actually break. You feel me? So you have to hold it very delicately. You feel me? It's like a piece of diamond. You feel me? If you drop it, it might break into pieces. So you constantly adding on to it to make it a better, bigger diamond. You feel me? And we constantly growing. Just the same thing with relationship or same thing with civilization or any, any kind of ship. Any partnership, situation, ship, entanglement, ship, you name the ship. It's in there. You feel me? I got, I got two more minutes. I know I said I had two more, but, but this is, this is, this is what it takes when you build that relationship with God himself. You have to be faithful. You have to have faith when you in that situation with God. And it's going to be challenges. It's going to be challenges. The devil's going to test you. You feel me? You're going to have all these tests and you're going to have these things. You feel me? They're going to test you fine women, jobs, things that you got to reach and steal. You feel me? It makes it so easy for you. It's testing you. And one mistake can have you slipped out of the grace of God himself. You can apologize, but yet you have to restart this process again because you have a stain on your name because you betray that trust itself. You feel me? Like Ken and Abel. Ken and Abel was in the grace of God himself. These niggas were men working the land itself. Each had profession, job titles, and everything else. And all, we, all it took was one test and Cain felt it and got jealous. And from being jealous to trying to steal somebody's blessing to killing and everything else. He just went down the road. You feel me? And so you feel me? It's like this is that's what that's what it takes. Sometimes when you in that place within the relationship and you do something wrong and now the girl don't want to be with you, now you stalking her. Cause when you was in that place, it felt so good, but you take it for granted. Now that you're not in that okay, so Now that you're not in that place no more, you knew what you know what you've lost. So you're trying to do everything to get it back, but you're doing the wrong things to get it back. You feel me? This is what it takes to be in the grace of God Himself. But I gotta go. You feel me?